It's not something you necessarily pursued in the beginning, but God brought open doors to you and and really walked you through a, your own healing journey in the process. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. I think it's one of my favorite things to talk about because I love when God says he can do all things through us and we apart from him can do nothing. And I think that's really um, a part of my story is that God really has been at the center of the entire thing. I always tell people he's the greatest agent that you can have. And when you, when you really understand and trust in the Lord and his plan for your life and open your hands up, he can take you to incredible places that you never imagined. And for me, that really started with, I, I was hopeful for a whole house full of babies. Uh, my husband and I had our last child Levi. And so we were really excited about more children and, as we were uh, going through this journey of kiddos, we had helped to open a coffee shop in our church called Hebrews back at Calvary in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, we were really excited. I mean, Hebrews, I know it's such a fun name. It's like everybody's <laughs> always like, yeah, that's a great name. Uh, and so I was just ready for the next baby after Levi. He was our youngest mm -hmm. and didn't have another child, couldn't have another child actually. And so as I was working through this whole process with the Lord, a man came in with his family, sat down and I literally was serving him coffee. And he looked up at me and he, he said, have you ever thought about doing commercials? And that really was the introduction to what God was about to do. And so I always think about that moment because it really could have been a moment in my life where I said no and didn't go to an audition. I had no idea what I was doing. So I really had a choice and it was laid out before me. And so I went to that audition and I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, God did though, but I stepped out in faith. And the next thing I knew, I ended up getting that that job. And before I knew it, I was working in multiple commercials and national campaigns and small films that were coming through Phoenix, Arizona at the time. And before I knew it, God was taking me into the next part of my, my life. And that was really going to Hollywood eventually in 2009. Wow. And it's really interesting to me how God would take you into an industry where that's full of rejection mm -hmm. to actually do an inner work for you that would uh, be a part of your career uh, progression. So take mm -hmm. us into that uh, place, Sherry, where um, the Lord began to do some healing in you. And it even related to your first, uh, uh, to one of your movies, October Baby, and, mm -hmm. and how God, I, I know that there was a particular scene in that movie that, you know, the presence of, of the Lord is everywhere. And, and, and uh, I love how the Lord was ministering to you during a particular scene and uh, what he's done mm -hmm. in, in terms of inner healing and identity as a work in your life. Absolutely. Well, and I, and I love how the Lord does that, right? Cause we, we, we so often get consumed by the, what are we going to do? And he's really in the middle of it going, let me, let me show you what I'm going to do. And, uh, and so that's really been a part of my entire journey, Brenda, is that when the Lord took me to Hollywood, I immediately thought I'm going to go and I'm going to be a huge movie star. And God literally yeah. has answered many of those prayers for me and put yeah. me in places yeah. he's desired. But what he began to do was really, um, he began to work in me internally to know that he was going to do something with my life and my ministry. And so again, with October Baby, what you were just sharing about, my first feature film that really launched me into the faith world was with the Irwin brothers. And it was called October Baby. And it was a movie about a young woman who discovers that she has been, uh, she was adopted and because of the adoption or she was in a, a child that had um, survived abortion. And so she finds out that she was adopted and then goes on a journey to find her biological mother. And that in the movie was me. And so uh, the really beautiful thing about that particular movie, though, is I remember when the Irwins gave me uh, the script and they said, we want to share with you a movie 
It was also their first feature film as well. And um, wow. they said, you know, we want you to read it. And if you like this character, please let us know. And so there's multiple things to that story. But I remember reading that just weeping by the time I was at page 10 because I couldn't believe that I was reading about an abortion survivor. And then I literally got to about the halfway point in the movie, which we call an arc in the movie. And I didn't really see the character that they were talking about. I couldn't really figure out who they were wanting me to play. And then all of a sudden, as I turned the page, the nurse started talking about a woman who worked at a law firm, uh, who that was then that in that moment, what I realized was that here I was reading something that actually paralleled my life and had been written for me 20 years in advance. I, when I went through my abortion, I was working as a paralegal for one of the largest law firms in the state of Arizona. I was working in corporate law. Um, same thing with, you know, my husband that, you know, in the movie, it shows me going and sharing with him what I had done and him opening his arms and showing me the love of Christ. But the significant, I really believe one of the most significant pieces of that movie is when uh, the young woman leaves me a note in my office and it says, I've forgiven you. Mm -hmm. And you know, as an actress, you prepare uh, for so many of these moments, but I wasn't prepared at all for this because really, truly what happened next was the Lord literally met me in this moment. And I'll never forget that um, I was sitting on his lap, literally, and he was holding me and saying, you know, you've been forgiven. It is done. It is over. And I just remember sitting there thinking about this movie and about what God was doing. And that was 2010 and walking through this very intimate healing process with the Lord. And, uh, and then 2012, the Lord took me on a speaking, you know, ministry to share about mm -hmm. being post-abortive. I was a teenage mom, so many things in my life that I got to pour into other women. And, you know, and here it was again for me saying yes to a movie role that would expose wow. something that happened in my life. So, wow. Yeah. So powerful. So powerful.